Everyone knows what the internet is, but what exactly is the internet of things? Digital technology separated information from any specific medium by translating it into binary code. The internet provided a low-cost, readily accessible distribution channel, and combined with PCs, smartphones, and tablets, we're now able to consume any information on any device, anywhere. The medium is no longer the message. This had a profound impact on nearly every corner of our economy, particularly on industries that were built on the marriage of content, information, and a physical distribution channel. Think publishing, broadcasting, entertainment. The Internet of Things is driven by precisely the opposite phenomenon. Where the Internet relies on digital technology to separate information from things, the Internet of Things relies on sensor technology to create information about things. Where is my car parked? Are the shelves stocked? Is the door closed? Understanding what this means requires us to think about how information creates value and how that value is captured. Sensors create information from an action that happens in the world. Networks, like the Internet, communicate information so that it can be aggregated over time and space. Analysis allows us to extract meaning, which informs future action, closing the loop. The late American philosopher Terry McKenna observed that the Internet gave birth to a global mind. But that mind has so far existed only in cyberspace, connected to the real world via its operators, us. It's possible that the Internet of Things will connect that global mind to a global body.